It's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird. Hey. Archie. You have no idea how excited I am about today's video. I am finally, finally, finally doing a thrift store video. It's been a long time in the making. It's been very highly requested. I adore thrift shopping. Before I was on YouTube, I exclusively wore thrifted clothing. That's not an exaggeration. I used to pride myself on the fact that I only wore clothes from thrift stores. Obviously because I'm on YouTube now and companies send me clothes for free and uh, there's a lot of brands that you guys want me to review. I do wear a lot of, you know, new clothes these days, but in my heart, I will always, always adore thrift shopping. Not only is it sustainable, you can find the most unique, amazing clothes. You can find vintage items, you can find new items, you can find a huge amount of stuff from H&M. Uh, every time I go to my local thrift store, I always find stuff from H&M for some reason. I love thrift shopping. It's a challenge, but it's also really, really fun. And my favorite place in the world to do thrift shopping is Japan. The clothes that you can find in Japanese thrift stores are incredible and unique and beautiful and cheap. There are some that are a little bit expensive and you will see that in this video, but a lot of the time you find things for $5 or less. You do kind of have to be a bit careful because sometimes you think that you're getting a great deal and then you might actually end up finding that particular item of clothing brand new for less. So you just have to be a savvy shopper. So in today's video, I'll be showing you some of my favorite places to thrift in Tokyo. I'll also show you some places that I've never been before that I ended up really, really enjoying. Don't forget to subscribe because I have two other videos aside from this one coming up. So one of them will be an entire haul video showing you everything that I bought. And then the other video is actually me wearing thrifted clothes for a week while I was in Japan. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you the thrift stores, where to find them, which ones are the best, what to look out for, things like that. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know next time that I'm posting my other thrift store videos. And uh, if you guys like this series, I'd be happy to go ahead and show you some Australian thrift stores because we have some pretty good ones here. So uh, without further ado, before I get on with the video, I want to thank today's sponsor. And this is the, the craziest thing. Just hear me out here. I literally was flying to Japan and I got to the airport, turned on my Wi-Fi, checked my emails, and lo and behold, right there in front of me was an email from Audible. And this is crazy because I had literally been using Audible on the flight on the way to Japan. I'd been listening to an audiobook called Across the Nightingale Floor, which was a recommendation by my friend Tiasha. Now, the Nightingale Floor in particular caught my attention because when you go to Kyoto, there's a castle there called Nijo, and in Nijo Castle, there's Nightingale Floors, and a little bit of Japanese history for you. Ninjas were trained to walk across these Nightingale Floors silently and assassins and anyone else that tried to come into the castle wouldn't be able to cross the floors without the floors creaking because the floors were built kind of like so that they would shift a little bit and make a squeaking noise. Anyway, so I've seen Nightingale floors in real life when I was in Kyoto. So anyway, Tiasha had recommended this book to me, Across the Nightingale Floor, and it's available on Audible and I listened to it on the flight over there and then when I got to Japan and I checked my emails, and that they had literally emailed me offering me a sponsorship. It was the most insane thing ever. I love audiobooks so much. When I'm cleaning the beauty room, I throw one on, I listen to it all day, whether I'm cleaning the room in here, cleaning the kitchen, driving in my car, I always have an audiobook playing. There's so many interesting people that narrate the audiobooks as well. Like for example, if you're a Sherlock Holmes fan, there is indeed a Benedict Cumberbatch narration of Sherlock Holmes and it's, it's good. If you want to try out Audible for yourself, just head to audible.com slash prettypastel or for my American viewers, you can text prettypastel to 500-500 you sign up for your trial today. You'll get yourself a free audiobook plus two Audible originals when you sign up for 30 days. I love that once you buy an audiobook from Audible, then it's yours to keep. You, you, you don't lose it. If you cancel your subscription or anything, you, you still get that audiobook. So if you want to try it out for yourself, don't forget to head to audible.com slash prettypastel or text prettypastel to 500, 500 So with that, 
thank you to Audible because uh, you guys sponsoring today's video meant that I didn't feel so bad spending as much money as I did on the thrifted clothes in Japan. So with that, I will see you in Tokyo. We're in Koenji right now. We are starting our thrift store journey here. There's about five places that I want to hit up. So we're going to get a start to the day and then have to head back to our hotel afterwards to put everything away. And then we're off to Harajuku. So I'm at the JR Koenji station right now. So when you come out of the station, you can either go left or right. So the first thrift store that we're going to visit is called Modoff and it's off to the left. So it's a little bit confusing if you don't have Wi-Fi. I do recommend that you travel with Wi-Fi so you can just put the name of the store into your phone and then follow it. But we're going off to the left here. There's some beautiful streets down this way, full of thrift stores. There's also thrift stores down to the right as well. They're everywhere in this little town. So very excited. It is 9.30 in the morning. We thought we'd get an early start of the day, but the only problem with that is everything's shut. So here is the, the wonderful first thrift store of the day. And I'm guessing because this one's closed, the rest of them probably will be too. So we might just go hang out in a cafe for a little while in Koenji, maybe explore the streets a little bit, and then we'll have to come back. I'm gonna guess that they open at 10. So we'll only need about half an hour. So we'll go for a little walk and we'll be back soon. <laughs> So we were just taking a little walk through the street and we found a place to get a drink. I've got a coffee, Tiasha has a mango pineapple smoothie. Mm. This place is really adorable. Pastries, there's uh, donuts, they've got like an octopus donut and a bird and a turtle donut. Did, were they in the window? Did you mm -hmm. see there were donuts in the window? Mm -hmm. Okay, while we're waiting for the thrift stores to open, we're gonna go into Daiso because luckily that is open and I love Daiso and I can't control myself, so this is probably just gonna turn into a video on its own. <laughs> when you want your soul to match your souls. A zipper bag, panda zipper bag, fluffy friends. It's literally just a Ziploc bag, but it's a cute Ziploc bag. Look, there's a sweet today's special recipes. <laughs> Have fun, happy and smile. Oh, that's so Is cute. that oh gift it's wrapping? Just, I'm, I'm into, into you. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What? I feel like I have to buy these. Oh, oh that's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna get them. I love the obsession with Crocs in Japan. They wear them everywhere. <laughs> First time in a 7-Eleven. Yes. Oh. So this is all the uh, snacky food. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? There's a mini bakery, I love it. Mini bakery, <laughs> yep. And then this is all, this oh, is a mini where, deli. Mini deli. So like if you if you don't want to eat out, you can always yeah. buy like little meals and piece them together oh. yourself. I always oh. buy the cabbage and I buy chicken. And I like, oh, and get a little bit of cheese, and I make some, a salad. Like, all the toppings. And look at the bakery section. Oh, honey oh, burger. Little hamburger. This is my favorite. I could eat this stuff all day. What is corn, that cheese and yeah, corn? Corn bread. Japanese people have a way of making things that don't sound delicious together taste like amazing. Like corn and mayonnaise. I'm like, ah, uh, and then you know that's gonna taste well. Onigiri. A sushi bar. Okay. A salad bar. Yep, salad bar. That's literally everything. Everything you could possibly need. Ramen. Oh my god, I love instant. Look, good at Oh my god. <laughs> hey, good at <laughs> What? Oh, Pokemon. What is this? Switch. Switch game. Oh, voucher. Voucher is for Pokemon. Dehydrated pasta? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Dehydrated <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> Garlic wild. <laughs> Look at this beautiful alcohol. alcohol. This is Sarari Koshita. I have no idea. Beautiful like, looking yeah. alcohol. Yeah. Coolish is literally the best thing in this country. I love this stuff. This stuff is so, so delicious. It's like whipped ice cream. It's like really soft and gooey. And these, these are insane. This is ice cream and it's made to look like real grapes, but it's actually like ice, it's ice cream on the inside, but it looks like a grape. Like it's crazy. Look at these beautiful little, little packet of frozen donuts. Oh my God, so cute. So cute. Okay, so we just stuck into 7-Eleven. I ended up buying these little grape ice creams because I just, I had to show you. So you tear open the pack and then look, it's like a little ball, like this. It looks like a grape. And then when you bite into it, 
It's got a shell on the outside and it's got soft grape ice cream on the inside. I can smell that grape from here. It's incredible. Oh, Do you want one? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. No, it's cold. Sorry. No, oh, sorry. What have I done? Oh my god. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. That's so refreshing. Mm. Like it's like frozen grape juice mm. almost. Oh my god, it's covered in like grape icy it's outer incredible. shell. Incredible. Mm. That's really so good. Definitely get these. Okay, we're gonna see if we can find the open thrift stores now. Mm -hmm. Okay, yay! So this place is called Second Street, a reuse shop. So this one opened at 10 a.m. luckily. So we're gonna go back to Brandoff later, but we're gonna head in here. This one is huge. I bought so much stuff here last time I was here. So this is part one. So I think that the way I'm gonna do this challenge is I'm not gonna force myself to get a week's worth of outfits from just one place, because I wanna show you a bunch of thrift stores. So we'll try and get a couple of things in here and then we'll head off to the others as well. So. Oh, this is from Uniqlo. This is 500 yen, so like $5. So that's a definite. <laughs> so uh, it's winter back home. So that's why I have long sleeves on because when we left Sydney, I had the long sleeves on because I was really cold, but it's really, really hot here. So I've got to keep reminding myself to buy summer clothes. It's very easy to forget because <laughs> I was so tempted. I was like, oh, I'll get this because this is really pretty and it's like 500 yen, but it's also long sleeves. So I guess I should be actually looking up here, right? I wouldn't mind a, a white t-shirt. That could be good. Plain white tee. Mm -hmm. There's heaps of stuff from Uniqlo. Life begins at I love you. Let's live. Oh, I love all the inspirational quotes. Like they, they take English and they write inspirational quotes. Oh, that's that so cool. That's really cool. 700 yen, that's $7. That's not bad. I think I'll just take like a little selection of things that look nice. See, I wasn't originally gonna get anything white. Like I wanted to try and find pastel colors, but like that's 500 yen. Look at the cute little detailing on the top. That's adorable. Oh, no, but I feel like I should be finding more colorful clothing. But look, oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Imagine that tucked into high waist of jeans with a belt and it's $5 and it's a Nike t-shirt. It's actually a Nike t-shirt. Mm. Little pink thing here. Okay, no, I guess make sure, Tiashi, you have to stop me from just buying jeans and t-shirts for the whole week. No way. <laughs> Buy more. <gasps> what is it? You have to get that one. Oh my god, it's like bunny bread. No, stop Pun. it. Pun, it says bread. Pun. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> oh my god. Look, it's like a whole rainbow. I can just get like a different colored t-shirt for every day. This is $5. This is Mickey Mouse, but it's velvet. This t-shirt is like a velvet t-shirt. This is so cool. That's so very Japanese. You have to get it. I have to get it. The pants are everything. It's 1,300 yen, which is like $13, 14, well, 13 20, US. Yeah, it's, isn't it? It's okay, yeah. it's not bad. For overalls, that's really cheap. It says workwear, the girl for work or for play. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> okay, but there's also, look, there's like these. No, nah, the oh, other ones are better. Oh, that's a skirt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I think this one. That was such a good find. <laughs> Pink jeans, $29,900. These remind me of something I got from YesStyle, but how much? $2,300. Mm, yeah. Obsessed. Aren't they awesome? They look sick. And they might, they're exactly the right they length. They make for your me legs too. look so long. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, you have to get them. Oh my god, they literally look amazing. Little farm girl chic. <laughs> the worst part about shopping for shoes in Japan for me is that they're never in my size. But look, there's like three different pairs of Doc Martens in this thrift store. Those ones are 9,900 yen, so that's like 100 bucks. But these are $33, and these are $70. So, you know, similar-ish prices, I guess. I've never bought, oh, I have bought new Doc Martens, and they cost me over 200. So I guess that's pretty good, actually. And they look like these are like basically new. Mm -hmm. If you cast your eyes over here, you'll see the Louis Vuitton section. <laughs> Bougie. Only in Japan would you find Louis Vuitton handbags in a thrift store. So like that one is 109,000 yen, which is probably like a grand. I love that. That's 129,000 yen. <laughs> just sigh and walk away. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted you guys to know I'm a used and vintage clothing slut. So we just 
found this beautiful little park. This is literally like just off the main street in Koeji. You're just walking down the main street and then all of a sudden this beautiful park. So I thought I would just quickly have a look at everything that we bought and then just try and figure out what else we need to get. Very hard to not buy a week's worth of stuff from the one place because I loved so much that was there. But luckily my voice of reason, Tiasha, convinced me not to. So to start we have the long jeans, beautiful high-waisted long jeans, which can go perfectly with a t-shirt. So I got, got a Nike t-shirt. So I think that that's probably one outfit. So that's done. The overalls that you saw, overalls with a button up shirt, perfect. Now I got these really cool kind of like yes style type of pants, which I think would be really nice with like just a maybe a beige or a cream colored tank top possibly like tucked into them. Could you get away with wearing that see-through turtleneck or would you feel too hot? Maybe. With, with these pants? Yeah, that? that would look amazing. This is a good find from Tiasha, like a see-through kind of turtleneck. That, yeah, that could actually be nice with those. That could be an outfit, but it could be a little bit too hot. So if that's too hot, maybe I'll get a crop top or I could even put a crop top, like a tank underneath. top underneath yeah. that. Then I also just got some like fun t-shirts as well. So we got the mini or Mickey Mouse t-shirt, which is sick. And then this, this is awesome. I feel like, I think I could possibly wear that as a dress. I think it's long enough. And I'm even tempted to wear it now. Like, maybe, should I? Yes. Oh, and then also we got the bread t-shirt because you got to get that bread. So, um, in terms of things that I still need to buy, like I, I almost have a week's worth of clothing here, but we're going to visit some other stores anyway, just in case. Uh, I'm sure that there'll be extra things. What I might keep an eye out for is a different top to wear with the trousers possibly. Um, maybe even a different, possibly a different top to wear with the overalls. Like I was gonna wear the button up shirt, but it could be a little bit too like farm girl. So see if I can find something for that. Uh, and then also shoes, accessories, things like that. I mean, if I can't find any shoes my size, I hope you guys forgive me, but I did bring my chunkies and I wear them with everything. So maybe that should be enough. So let's see how I go with this. Okay, so this would absolutely be a look like just this but it's not quite long enough to be a dress so Tiasha just suggested I get bike shorts so at the next thrift store keep an eye out for bike shorts because I feel like this with the chunky sneakers and like white socks or something bike shorts yeah bike shorts <laughs> Tiasha's wearing them so I have to get some too <laughs> so what was my list again I've already forgotten list yeah what do I need bike shorts bike shorts a nice tank top, tank top. to wear under the turtleneck yep. and, and, and something to wear under the dress overall thing oh a camisole dress i wanted a camisole dress too like a thin spaghetti strap i need to write this down i, sure. I will forget <laughs> okay we're back at mode off we found it open this time so let's head in it looks like there's a sign that says 500 carbon bag bags carbon bags uh kochira I think that the bags are 500 yen, possibly. Could be saying that. Anyway, let's head. Oh my God, I see an outfit I want immediately. Holy crap. <gasps> Look. <gasps> Can I just take that whole outfit off? She's literally stripping the mannequin. The model comes off the stick. Oh my god, Alex. Oh, this is Look at this. That's so pretty. <laughs> 300 yen. 300 yen. Done. I love it. You've not even entered the shop in your car. I like store. got as far as the front door and I've already got two outfits. The door is here. <laughs> and this is Alex. Okay, so brand off. Literally the best. The best. <laughs> Converse for $20. More Converse.
Alex, what's upstairs? Well, it should be clearance, but I think it's men's stuff now. Last time I was here, it was clearance stuff. But... Mm. Men's is good. I love in thrift stores when they have like a basket and it's just random stuff that's like 100 yen or something. Like, look, Tiasha found this in this 100 yen, so a dollar. We also got this, which I probably can't wear while I'm here because it's too hot, but that's adorable. And look, even a little corduroy skirt too. These are all one dollar. <laughs> Pineapple Converse, forty dollars. I feel like I should get those. They're epic. They are everything. Uh, you don't like them? I think they're sick. I don't know where to look. Okay, it's like actual fur. <laughs> As if you don't like them. <laughs> There's such thing as too much. <laughs> Which, actually, I'll just show the camera. So on the inside, it says Jeremy Scott. So I think that this is some sort of Adidas, oh, sorry, Adidas, as my American subscribers say, and roast me for saying Adidas. Google it, it's Adidas. Don't screech at me. <laughs> Tiasha thinks these are hideous. They probably, they are hideous, but like totally in the best way possible. Don't you think, look, even the front, this is iridescent. It looks cool, they look great on you. You think they look cool? I think they look really good on you. You got your dancing shoes on. Remember sea walking? <laughs> oh, I remember. I got you, baby. <laughs> They obviously bring you jo joy. They bring me joy. And so does this song too, so that helps. Let's Marie Kondo and you should hold them in your hand and if they spark yes. joy, then you'll get them. Alex, do they spark joy? Yes. We're getting them. I actually seriously think they look sick. They're $60 though. They're $200. I would totally have got those. Those are sick. What brand are they? They are... Jeremy Scott. Oh, they're, they're from the same collaboration. Who is this man? <laughs> this, Jeremy this Jeremy Scott. Jeremy <laughs> Scott. Oh, they're 140 bucks. Platform Nike Airs. Oh, they're so They're cool. really I've cool. never seen those before. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they'll fit me. <gasps> the shoe Cinderella! Fits. It's like Cinderella! Are they're, these men's shoes? These are men's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so cool. Oh my gosh. They're pretty cool, man. Look, there's even um, feeler. What do you think of them? They're really cool. They look like my shoes. They do! Everything here is going to fit you. They're all men's shoes. They're all men's shoes. <laughs> is this the other? Oh, this is the other half of them. Is this the same shoe that you have? It's similar. In to black? How much are they? 50 bucks. A few moments later. Alex, you're buying, you're not walking away with, you Maybe. can have two of these, Max. No. You can only have two. Tiasha. You literally you're can a cruel only mistress. have two. Uh, pineapple converse. No. Why does Japan do this to me? I'm gonna ask people to vote. <gasps> I've oh, numbered nice. them, one through to six. 30% say get them and 70% say don't get them. Oh, that's devastating. I just, I mean, they're so ugly that they're cool, you know? I know what you're saying and I totally hear you, but put them away. And before all your followers call me out on how cruel I am, Look what she's buying already. <laughs> Being a good friend. Sometimes I like to just watch and see if she can handle it herself. I always say, Alex, only buy what you can carry. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I really love this little thrift store. Uh, it says Neko or something, it's, it's a bit stylized and I can't quite read it. I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but it's, it's got the word cat in it. But I will put a little like 
map here with a little geolocation so you can find it because I love this one. Some of the clothes, like they're really, really feminine and really cute and really pretty and I've found some awesome, super cheap things in here before. So I went nuts at Modoff and I spent, I think, $270. Uh, there's a lot. So I'm only looking for a couple of little tiny things now. I have like four things left on my list, which are well, bike shorts. I don't think I'll ever find those. A camisole dress, a tank top, and some pretty shoes. So if we don't find them here, I will find another thrift store for you, maybe in Harajuku or Shinjuku or something like that. Uh, but this will be it for Koenji. This will be the last one for this little town. Oh my god, cool. <laughs> Awesome. And it's so difficult because like I basically have everything that I want. I'm just shopping for the sake of shopping now because I want to show you guys. On the way to Cape May, the sun was shining and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. When we arrived, we went to the beach in the evening we walked along this boardwalk. Like, boardwalk and ate at one of the finest restaurants wish you were here love me we stan a love story <laughs> look at this it's mickey mouse this is from tokyo disney resort yeah. wow that's sick it's this is like 20 bucks what <laughs> goth alex look over here what this one all of it all of it <laughs> i love it okay what about this what is this wow that is that makes me feel strange. I don't like it. <laughs> it really makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, it's expensive though. 16,800, 160. But it's Dior in a thrift store. Love it. Oh, I have all the skirts I need. I don't even... I'm so proud of you for saying that. <laughs> Okay, so I spent about, I think, $270-ish in that thrift store, which is crazy, but it all came from the shoes. So my issue is that none of the women's shoes in this country fit me. None of them. So even though there were cheap shoes in the thrift stores, you know, like five, 10, 15 dollar shoes, I couldn't find a single pair that was my size. So I did end up getting shoes that were men's shoes and the men's shoes, for whatever reason, were just more expensive. So most of the cost came from the shoes, but the clothes that I got in there were super cheap. Some of them are literally a dollar. So let's have a quick look. So I got this belt. Super cute, just like one of those pool kind of belts. I think this was $10, a little bit expensive, but I've never seen a lilac belt like that, so had to have it. We've got, oh, this was from the front door, the outfit you saw at the front doorway. So what's her name? Father Kells. Father Kells, that's apparently, she's an influencer. She, Tiasha showed me her Instagram, she's got like 2 million followers. So she's on a t-shirt. I don't know whether this is licensed Father Kells or not, but uh, anyway, so they paired that with this denim skirt. Now this denim skirt was also a tiny little bit expensive. This is 1,500 yen, but it's a really nice shape. It looks like a really flattering shape. And uh, also they paired it with this cap. Yes, this is, oh. Oh, it's the same color as my top. Oh, they paired it with a necklace. I'll have to find that here. Here we go. This was $5. Just a, just a, a very basic little necklace. We got, um, oh, they also paired it with this Barney bag, which is, I mean, look, I, I got it because it was on the mannequin with the outfit and I was like, I'm gonna trust them. Like they, they paired Barney with Father Kells. So if they say so, I'll do it. So this will be today's outfit actually. Tiasha and I are going to Harajuku. So I'm gonna wear this Harajuku. <laughs> look at this cute skirt. This was again, 1,500 yen. So like $15, but it's this beautiful, really, really thick kind of vintage retro skirt. Love that. I even got this, I don't have anything to wear under this yet. I'll find something at another thrift store, but this is like a really big, beautiful, lacy lacy dress this looks like something i've bought from yes style before it's like completely sheer so i've got to find like a little slip dress to wear under that um tiasha found these pants these are incredible they've got like a little draw sort of oh, and look at the colors they're so pretty and they're kind of like chunky leg they they're like collots they're beautiful this is the most expensive thing that i bought these are lacoste shorts they're like vintage lacoste and i just I don't really have very many shorts and these are a really nice length and they're really high-waisted and they're this beautiful, you know, purple and green. So I splurged $30 for those, but Lacoste is like a proper, you know, branded brand. 
brandy, but uh, uh, brand, yeah, you know, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> um, these were my, my dollar purchases, thanks to Tiasha for picking these. Beautiful daisies here. Can't wear that, it's way too hot outside. Corduroy skirt, one dollar. What a steal. We even got this little, like, I don't even know what I'm gonna wear this with, but it was a dollar, so why not? This t-shirt is phenomenal. It's got those be that beautiful lacy detail on it there. 300 yen. And these white overalls, which were 1,000 yen, so $10. So you saw me try those on in the change room too. Uh, so I think that's everything from there. And then in terms of the shoes, all the expensive shoes, well, these boots, so they're scuffed, so they were $15, but I'm sure that that'll clear off really, really easily. They're just like white, these are men's, men's boots. Look, men in Japan, fashion. <laughs> um, black feelers, a staple. I don't own black sneakers. Nike Air Max, they were 30 bucks. Rainbow Nikes. I feel like if I change the laces on these, they'll be even better. And pen pineapple, pineapple converse. <laughs> They're so cool. These are gonna look really pretty with dresses and stuff, I think. Um, need to get some socks though. I didn't get any socks. Still don't have anything to wear under the lacy dress. So we're gonna head out again. There's a couple of thrift stores in Harajuku, but I think for now I will put on that very first outfit because that's the first like complete outfit. It's got accessories and everything. Oh, and what shoes should I wear with that? I guess the white boots maybe. I think I'll wear the white boots with that because the denim skirt and like cool boots will look really sick. So I'll jump into that now. Okay, so we're going to Second Store or whatever it's called, Second Street. Uh, this is in Shinjuku now. The one that we went to before was in Koenji, but I still need a couple of other items before I commence the rest of the week long wear test. So we're gonna head into this one. I'm trying to find some pretty shoes because all I got was sneakers. Uh, I also need to find, I wanted to find a camisole dress. Um, I don't remember, bike shorts or something? I've got as far as the inside of the store. Again, the doorway has trapped me. Wow. Look. Oh, but I don't need these things. I only needed a camisole dress. That's all I needed. What am I doing? Stop me. Well, that glittery one's really cool. Okay, wait, I have a list. I actually have a list. Um, yeah, come, come in, have a look. So I wanted bike shorts, a cami dress, a tank top, pretty shoes and socks. An eye for shoes and not useful things. Again, straight to the shoes. $16. That's amazing. They're really cool. Oh, look at these. None of these will fit me. Oh, they're large. Not in Australia. <laughs> They would fit me, I would totally buy those. Look, shiny mule. You're like a magpie to shiny things. Oh my god, what is it? I, I, it's only $13, whatever it is I wanted. Kore wa nan desu ka? It's weird there's a hanger like that, but. Yeah, there's a hanger. <laughs> it's so fine. I guess you just wear it over the top of these. It literally looks like it's floating. That's so cool. Oh, let me look in the mirror. Wow, that's awesome. But also, it's $30. So we were unsuccessful. There was nothing right for my shopping list in there. And also, it was extremely expensive. It's exactly the same shop that we shopped at in Koenji, but everything was double the price. So just bear in mind, because Koenji is like a small suburb, Shinjuku, is, uh, this is Shibuya, and this is a really touristy area, so I feel like things are more expensive. So definitely when you're thrifting, try to go to the outer suburbs. There's heaps of them, heaps of thrift stores in the smaller suburbs, but it's gonna be way cheaper. But we're gonna try and find one in here. This is the what, Mo Modi, Modi Center. And then this, oh look here. So on the third floor of this Modi building, there's a place called Bingo. Don't know if it's gonna be as expensive as that one was, but it's worth a try. But look, if we can't find anything in Shibuya or Shinjuku, we have time to go to other suburbs, like smaller suburbs, there's other thrift stores. And also I bought enough that I can probably get away with it. I have enough outfits for the whole week. I'm just trying to find more good stores to show you guys right now. I don't really need to buy anything else, but I just want to show you what sort of places you can find. It's crazy how like 
there's brand new stores. All of this stuff is like new. And then just right here in the middle of this department store is like a used clothing area. I have a feeling it's gonna be expensive. Is that a brand we should recognize? Depends <laughs> how fashionable you are. <laughs> See, that's 2000 but that other thing was 500 I guess, I don't know if they just base the prices off maybe the brand or yeah. something. Like, that's pretty. How much is that? That's 1280 so like 12 13 I reckon we'll find some good stuff, but I'm not gonna push, I'm not gonna buy stuff just for the sake of buying it because I have so much stuff. I'm not gonna buy stuff for the sake of just buying it, she says. Well, that's actually really pretty. Can I show it to I don't you? know how much it is, but, oh, oh, no, it's $40. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Good day. Good day. <laughs> Pink vans, but they're $30. And I, I think, can't you get vans $30 new? I think, can you? I don't know. You know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they, that would look really cool with the orange stuff. Yeah. That's 500 yen. Good spot. I didn't even notice that. It's I looked cool. straight past it. It's very dolls kill. It is, and it's 500 yen. Mm. Thanks, Tiasha. You're welcome. Ooh. 700 yen. That's tempting. <laughs> Drifting. Drifting. So this bingo store has this sale section and these things are so cheap, like these jeans are 500 yen. I saw it, look, these pants are 260 yen. There's a whole bunch of cheap stuff here. Actually, I'm kind of digging some of these pants. I actually really like these. I hope they fit me because they're really, 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 really cool. Alex, it's like a dick monster. <laughs> Diasha! <laughs> So I tried a bunch of stuff on in the change rooms and I decided I probably don't need anything from here, like I already have so much, but I did want to show you guys this because I was very tall and it's only 800 yen, so it's like $8, but it's so cute, it's got little bow details and the pink like this, and it's one of those things where it's like, it's it's not a need, it's just a want, you know, like you probably don't need it, but it is super cute, but also I don't know what I'd wear this with based on the stuff that I've already bought, so I would then have to buy something else to accommodate this, so. I guess I'll just put her away. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Big step for me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is probably the last thrift store of the day. This one is called Don Don Down on Wednesday in Shibuya. Just so you know, see that line of people there? <laughs> that line there is for a place called Genki Sushi. It's one of my favorite places to eat sushi in Tokyo. It's just like a really cheap, quick, awesome, delicious sushi train and uh, that's what, one of the first places that Daniel and I ever ate together because we met in Japan and I have this picture here of Dan and I standing in front of that place and that was many years ago so I, I would love to eat there but there's a, there's a line. Anyway, let's head into this place. Look, I still haven't found the things that I need and I don't think I'm going to find specifically the things that I need and I think I'll just give up if I don't find, you know, the biker shorts and the tank top and the shoes and all that. I'll give up for now. We can resume the search later but let's see how we go. Why? Why is there an eggplant? Is it telling you you're gonna get dicked down if you buy this? <laughs> Ooh, this is assaulting. I think I have to get this. I was just standing here for like five minutes trying to work out what the fruit means. Like there's fruit and vegetables on the clothes. Like there's a pumpkin and then Tiasha noticed, what was it, a mushroom on that one over there? And then I had the genius idea, perhaps it represents the price. And sure enough, there's a water over there. Wow! We want watermelons, mushrooms, bananas and pumpkins. 
pounds. How much is strawberry? Oh, 2,000 yen. That's so cute. This store is incredible. I love the system. This is, wait, how much is that then? This is, I don't understand. This is 3,500. That can't be right. Can't be right. That's, there must be a mistake. For all my Liz Lisa fans, this is a Liz Lisa dress for 900 yen. That's like $9. Guys, you have to you have to go to this thrift store. This is the best one so far. Holy shit, these are fifteen dollars. I want them all over. Too bad they're doll size. This is a thousand yen. I paid that much for a belt at the other place. Oh my god. Okay, picture it. This is five hundred yen. This little you just like wear it on the side of your head like that, and I can wear it with that crazy black dress. Come over here. Check this section out. one we've been to. Look. Oh. Look. oh my god. <laughs> oh the dress is stunning. If it fits, five years old is my thing. This is amazing too. This is Liz Lisa. This is 900 yen. This can't be right. I'll believe it when I pay for it. Yeah. So we uh, walked into Don Don Down on Wednesday saying, I need a pair of shoes, a pair of shorts, and maybe a cami dress. $600 later. I'm ashamed. But I'm also very proud. That was the best thrift store I've ever found in my life and I hope that you guys go there and enjoy it too. And I think that it's a chain. I think that there's more than just the one in Shibuya. So I'm gonna keep my eye out. If I spot any others, Tiasha's gonna have to restrain me because I should not go inside and spend any more money. But yeah, that was, that was awesome. Everything that I got was incredible, so no regrets. So that's it guys. That's everything for today's video, but don't forget to stick around because I do have two others coming up. One will be the full haul of everything that I got in the thrift stores. The other video is me wearing thrift store clothes for a week in Japan. So let me know below what you think about thrifting in Japan. Let me know if you've seen any awesome thrift stores when you've visited, or maybe you've heard about some. I'm going back to Japan very soon actually, so if there's any other stores that you want me to check out, just leave them down below. I'll definitely find them. I will find them and I will review them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel Please. I'm also on Twitter, Pretty Pastel PLS. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!